participate in the exchanges at all. So is Obamacare driving doctors out of that part of the business? Joining us right now is primary care physician here in the New York City area, Dr. Donald Moore. Good morning to you, Dr. Morning. Thanks for making a, a studio call for us today. Um, the federal government has not so far done a very good job telling doctors what's in it for them so far with Obamacare, have they? Well, I wouldn't like to think of it as what's in it for us. We're in a practice of medicine. Sure. We are there because uh, we've made an oath and uh, we've made a commitment. Right. So that's what we do. So we are, what we do is irrespective of what Obamacare or any financing system. Sure, but you. ultimately you got to be worried about, you know, would I be compensated to the stage where I could actually either make money or break even? Because the last thing you want is to lose money. Well, I already lose money. Um, so, and I think Obamacare would probably make it worse. So you're gonna, you're at this point opting out? Yes, I am definitely out. The Obamacare is really an inadequate attempt to fix a broken healthcare financing system. You know, our system of healthcare financing, it's broken, it yeah. does not work for the patient, it does not work for the doctor, it does not work for anybody, it doesn't work for the hospitals, it doesn't work for the employer, mm -hmm. it does not work for the taxpayer. So if we have a system that doesn't work for anybody, then we need to fix it, but we can't do it with a short gap method. Well, I, I, you know, I, I, for years there have been people who, up on Capitol Hill who have said we've got to do something uh, because there are a lot of people who do not have uh, adequate health coverage and and now they've done this but I don't know that this is such a good thing well the Obamacare or the Affordable Care Act mm -hmm. and it actually was the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act right. we forget that patient protection right. um, the issue is well is it going to create better access to care. Right. Well, yes, it will insure more people, but having a card to go and see the doctor doesn't mean necessarily you're going to see the doctor you want. Sure. And one of the other problems is for a lot of particularly young people, and they're really the ones they've got to have sign up in big numbers, you know, when you're a kid, you feel bulletproof. I, I don't need no stinking insurance, and now the government is saying, you've got to have insurance or we're going to penalize you. Well, I understand that. Uh, certainly you want healthy people in any system. Now, as you can expect, the people who are going to run to the exchanges to get insurance are the people who really need it. Right. If, you know, I'll be honest with you. I don't have health insurance. I don't have health insurance because I can't afford it. Why can't I afford it? Because why can't a physician get health insurance? Because I don't, the, the amount of money I get from the insurance companies do not cover the cost of the care that I give. Now, if you send me more... That's quite a confession, doctor. Yes, it is. Because my patients are not happy with me. The reason they're not happy with me is because I had to tell them at some point, I can't take your insurance anymore because your insurance doesn't cover the cost of the care that I give. Right. And going forward, you're not going to cover... Uh, you're not going to be part of the Affordable Care Act either. Uh, Dr. Moore, thank you very much for sharing your perspective on this because you know you're you're doing it every day and it's good to know your point of view thank, thank you very you. much for joining us live all right